Hi plant friends, it's a what's in bloom video. I've got a lot of orchids in bloom. I also have a Hoya that's in bloom. Let's take a look at these beauties. Along with the orchids, the crown of thorn is in bloom. This plant requires a lot of water. I actually water it every day and also requires a lot of sun. My Hoya Australis has been in bloom constantly over the winter, which is so nice and rewarding. It's quite fragrant at nighttime. It smells a bit like jasmine. I picked up this one a few months ago from Crystal Star. It's the Fal Gigantia Matuo Sun. It was in bloom then, the bloom fade, and I was surprised that it bloomed again. Remember the jewel orchid from Valley View? I thought I'd include it in this video. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make this plant bloom again, so I wanted to have something for my memory. Plant friends, if you're familiar with this plant and you know how to make it bloom, comment below. The variegated orchids are still in bloom. That's the thing I like about Phalaenopsis orchids. Their blooms are so long lasting. I picked up these guys from Vandermeer and I was able to get one with a regular lip and one with a triple lip. They're so beautiful. Fal Yafan Boss is in bloom again. This one is crossed with Gigantia, so it has some nice big leaves. And the flowers do remind me of the Gigantia flowers. Now my orchids are quite easy to care for. This particular plant, I keep it under the grow light for about 10 to 12 hours each day. And I water it once a week. The next plant have misplaced the tag. It's also crossed with the Gigantia, so it has some nice big luscious leaves. And look at the flowers, it reminds you of the Gigantia. Now we had a nice beautiful sunny day, one day in the winter, and the sun was just too strong, it scorched the leaf. Thank goodness the burn mark hasn't spread to um, damage the full leaf, but if I notice it spreading, I'm just gonna cut the leaf off. Now Fowl Mantro is slightly fragrant. I can really smell this one when it's nice and sunny, which is so surprising. It's also a prolific bloomer. It has a spike that's been blooming for over a year now.
South Spring Joy Canary Joy is so fragrant. In the morning when it's nice and sunny, the fragrant fills my bedroom. I keep it under the grow light for about 10 to 12 hours each day and I give it a weak fertilized solution weekly. So weak weekly for this beauty. I also picked up this beauty from Crystal Star many years ago. I find it so attractive. I really love the way these flowers look. There's something about these pyloric flowers that are so attractive. You'll notice that this orchid is the same name as the one before. They're the same cross, and that's the nice thing about orchids. When they're crossed, they're offsprings. Although they're similar, they'll look totally different. This is the second flush of blooms for my Thanksgiving cactus. I'm keeping it close to the window so it's getting a nice cool draft at nighttime to trigger the blooms. I'm hoping she'll give me a third flush of blooms. My three orchids in one pot, it's been in the same pot for about eight years now and they've bloomed every year. It's always a spectacular show. I always get a lot of questions on how do I grow these roots and you know what I don't do anything special I water this plant once a week or sometimes twice a week if I feel that it's getting a little bit too dry especially in the winter when the heat's on and the plant does its own thing it just grows naturally Fertilizer over the years I've been slow, using slow release. Now I'm using that Fox Farm Tiger Bloom and we'll see how that goes for next year. I'm going to give it a good year until I really know the true results of that fertilizer. The next file is so special to me. It actually spent about 30 days in the mail. It was a tiny little cakey that a friend sent to me and 
it was lost in the mail over the summer and you know what it thrived you could probably neglect your orchids for about 30 days i don't recommend it but this one survived I've had this Falchaleriana for a number of years now. The first year she struggled until I realized she likes her media slightly moist. It's the first bloom for the Hoya Compacta this year. It's off to a good start. She's blooming a bit early this year. And you know what? I'm keeping her in a south window. She's getting a lot of sun, about uh, five hours of direct sun each morning. And she seems to be loving it. With spring fast approaching, she's finally waking up and giving some blooms. Check out this African violet, it's variegated, it's so beautiful. I received this one from Gabrielle last weekend and I had to include it in the video. The bloom is so spectacular. I love that powdery pink and the flowers is so nice and huge. I also got my hands on one of these Easter cactus. Look at the blooms, it looks like fireworks. That's it for What's in Bloom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, Plant Friends. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and follow me on Instagram at Life of Bellina.